bitch, I ain't gonna stop till I'm on top. I run till I get dropped in a pine box. It's my aggregation, association. This organization is my occupation. I congregate in a bar, catch a clock. Unfortunate for you, if you got a spot. I'm calling the shots like I'm out there playing basketball. I ain't mad at y'all, I just think these rappers need to pass the ball. Cause I'm pretty like a penny in a mortar way. It yeah, worked like a piston in Detroit, not far away. Who can collect the motherfucker? Hey, what's up, everybody? It is I, the Cool Kid Collector. I'm back with another unboxing video. This is, uh, I know I say this a lot. It's not your typical unboxing video. I mean, it is. It's an unboxing. That's a video. But it's not a subscription box. It is a mystery box, but it's one of those mystery boxes you find in the store, like GameStop or Walmart. And they have a little sticker on the front that shows kind of what's in it, kind of not. I almost didn't buy it. I went to Walmart today to get some shit, groceries, whatever. I'm like, I'm going to go see how much... Scary Stories of Town in the Dark is. So I bought that on Blu-ray. Now they keep pop figures and some of their Toon Terrors and some of their NECAs and shit in the electronic department with their movies. And I saw, like, the Ghostbuster box and I saw, like, you know, Fortnite and shit that I don't fucking know anything about. But I got a Mortal Kombat one. Mortal Kombat was one of my favorite... It was one of my first favorite video games. It was cool. First time I played it, my older brother's friend brought it over. He brought a system over and everything. I think he stayed at our house for like three or four days. Like the whole neighborhood was over at our house. We were all playing Mortal Kombat. I was a little kid, so I didn't get too many turns, but it was just fun watching them. And they already knew the fatalities. They already knew the blood code. And back then we couldn't get this shit on the internet. We had to like go to the fucking grocery store, find the video game magazine and write everything down on a piece of paper. So like, all the homies were coming over, busting out their pieces of paper with their favorite character fatalities or whatever. Whatever you could write down before your mom's like, come on, we gotta go, I'm fucking checking out, you know. So, this is the Mortal Kombat box. It is called Mortal Kombat Classic. It was $20 at Walmart. I don't know if this is a Walmart exclusive. I have not seen it anywhere else, though. And this was the only one. So, I fucking bought it. Remember that movie, uh, Independence Day with Will Smith when he was like, I gots to give me one of these! That's exactly how I felt when I saw this box. Uh, obviously, I just cut the, the cellophane on it. Um, I'm gonna, this is gonna be my genuine reaction. So let's see what's going on here. Alright, so this, uh, first thing is I see this thing here. It says, built by Culturefly, culturefly.com. We appreciate your feedback. Thank you for purchasing the CultureFly product. Please take a moment to complete this online survey and you'll receive 50% off your first order on CultureFly.com. Cool. I have no idea what that is, but I'm definitely going to do it because I love 50% off. Oh, awesome. Now, on the back or on the box, there's little stickers that gives hints on what's in there. And it was um, a picture of the arcade cabinet. Now, for Christmas, my son got a tiny little arcade cabinet. It's probably about this big. And you could, it's got Mortal Kombat on it. Blood code, fatalities, everything. It's, it's very, very tiny, but it is the shape of the normal arcade size cabinet. And I'm like, oh, man, that'd be cool because then I'd have my own. Um, but that's not what it is. It's, it's a pin of the arcade cabinet and I think it's it man it's it's I've never seen a pin like this how smooth it is like most of your pins have your detail in it and you can feel the detail but this one is it's just straight up smooth on the front it's very shiny too and you don't get too much reflection on pins so I'll show you there how shiny it is but yeah it's uh it's the Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet pretty fucking cool I like that that's gonna go with my horror pins um, this is cool. I love this. Awesome. It's a fucking patch. I love patches. And I have a badass jacket, or a vest, I should say, with horror movie patches. And I'm going to put this on there because this most certainly, it, it fits, I think. Look at that. Kick-ass patch. I love this. This is very, very fucking cool. So far, I'm really happy about this fucking box, man. Um, okay, cool. I will take, yes, I will, I like this. I, 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 a lot of people bitch about, I think they're called tumblers. My wife calls them tumblers. I got a few of them. I got a Deadpool one, a Nightmare Before Christmas one. I, I gotta, I gotta genuinely say, I think this is my new favorite one, man. I use these, uh, at work and shit. I'll take them to, or I'll put them in my little, uh, my morning meal replacement milkshake. 
they uh they go great with with in these things you can take them to work with you or awesome i love this it's the, it's the opening scene kind of for the not opening scene but i think you know what i mean uh choose your fighter it's got Johnny Cage, Kano, Sub Zero, Sonya Blade, Scorpion, Liu Kang, Raiden. It's uh, it's fucking cool. Badass Tumblr. It's got the whole uh, choose your fighter part of the video game. I, I love this. I think it's awesome. Well, the one thing that's fucking with me. Okay, it's not a screw on. I guess you just. This doesn't seem very secure. I don't want to break it. Um, I could fuck with this later. The lid, okay, it's it's better. All right, you so you just gotta press it down. You don't screw it in. Kick ass, fucking tumbler, love it. Um, cool, cool. This was kind of like the. Uh, this is similar to the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger box that I got, um, and the Ghostbuster one that is out there. Um, this is this this reminds me of the Green Ranger figurine. And the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger one, but it's not the Green Ranger. It's fucking Scorpion, man. This is cool. This is cool. Good. Glad I didn't break it. I get a little overzealous sometimes and a little excited. And I've, uh, sometimes I break stuff because I'm too impatient. So this is cool. It's built by Culture Fly. I'm going to check this company out, man. I've never heard of these motherfuckers. Let's see here. So he's got... Two, two pegs for his right foot, one peg for his left foot, which, okay, I see. I got to press the thing down in order for him to stick. Let's see here. And there it is. Get over here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is pretty badass. I like this. This, I like this. It's really cool. I like it a lot. I think it will look good next to all of my other little figurines. Now, there's got to be a fucking art print. Every fucking box has to have a goddamn art print in it. But this one's Mortal Kombat, so what are you going to do? You know, it's okay. So, um, let's take this bitch out. I have some really cool my uh, Mortal Kombat pop figures. I have, um, I have all of them. And uh, the Luke Kane one is autographed by the actor who played him in the Mortal Kombat movie. The Sub-Zero one is also autographed, and the Scorpion one is also autographed. Um, I, did a, I, did a, un, I did a reveal video on that on my YouTube channel, so scroll way the fuck down there and you'll see it. Um, this, I think, I'm pretty sure this was an old advertising flyer poster that was like up in the video game stores. It was up in the arcades. When this game first came out, or when it was about to come out, when it was about to drop as a cabinet and, and video, I, I, I remember this. So, I'm pretty sure this is the old poster. I, I like this a lot more now. I really do. So, this is basically the old school advertising uh, promotion poster, whatever. It's just been downsized to like an 8x10. And, man... 20 bucks, dude? 20 fucking dollars? I love this box. This, this is probably the coolest random box that I've got in a store. Like, the, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers one was cool. I liked it. I was happy with my 20 bucks, but I had shit like a pen and a notepad and just, you know, whatever. I saw the Ghostbuster one. There was a couple of items in it that I thought was cool. I wasn't... I wouldn't have paid 20 bucks for it, but this one here, I got a patch, a pin, a figure, an item, a Mortal Kombat item that I can use every single day, and a very nostalgic art print. Very cool. It is by culturefly.com. I think it's great. I love it. That's fucking awesome, man. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that fucking bullshit if you want to. I'm almost at 400 uh, subscribers now, which is pretty cool, because I remember when I had one. Um... I just started a podcast, people. It's called House of a Thousand Discourses. I just did an episode about The Blair Witch Project, one of my favorite movies of all time. Love, 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 love that movie. I hope you love, 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 love my new podcast. It's uh, it's called House of a Thousand Discourses. It's on fucking Spotify. It's on Google. It's on Apple Podcasts. It's almost everywhere. I'm just waiting for the big, big, big boys called iTunes to let me know that they've approved my shit. So, um, yeah, man. 
please check that out. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys soon, dude. Laters. We may vote. We're here to let you know. We ain't gonna stop until the pine box is closed. Don't matter where we go.